we're either thinking or we've got one way to talk or two ways to talk. Okay, here we go. Still thinking, I've got one way to talk about it. I've got two ways. And I'm looking to see, I wanna make sure everybody has at least one answer. So if you're still thinking, let's see if we can get to a place like this, okay? All right, before we talk about the why and the how we know, I just want some answers. So, how many dots do you think you can see, Brooke? How uh, many? Forty-two. Okay. Anybody think it's a different answer? Yeah. Forty-one. All right. Anybody think it's a different one than one of those two? Yeah. Forty. Tanner, how many do you think? I think about uh forty-three. Does anybody have an answer that's different than one of these? Do you have a different one? 30. Ooh. Now, one thing that's, anybody have a different one or is everybody pretty set that the answer is one of these answers? Okay, so one thing that's really important when we talk about math is sometimes we have different answers. And in talking about it, we can figure out the correct one and then we can really talk about why it is what it is. So. We're gonna do something called challenge or defend. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick one of these and you're gonna say, I'm going to challenge 43. I know the answer cannot be 43 and this is why. Or you're gonna pick one and you're gonna defend it and you're gonna say, I know that answer is 43 and this is why. Okay, turn and talk to your partner again. Challenge or defend. All right, eyes back up here. I don't think I even need the countdown. You guys were so fast at coming back to me last time. Okay, so now we're going to do that talking, that sharing or thinking. And you're going to pick one and you're either going to challenge it or you're going to defend it. All right, I can see you're already thinking and you've got some things you want to talk about. Are you going to challenge or defend? I'm going to defend because I think the answer is 42 because I know that on the, um, well, the top row it's six and then when it goes down it's seven and I know that six times seven is 42. Okay. Oh, I see some me twos there. How'd you know there were six across there? I knew that there was five in one of those little boxes and I just added one more. Okay, so you didn't have to count them all. You, you used that structure, that five and some one more and that made six. And how about this way? How'd you know that was seven? Well, I know five and then plus two, which equals seven. Sure. And then you've got that as a memorized fact. Yeah. All right. Who's got a different way to talk about it? Jackson, you got a different way to talk about it? Yeah, I challenge 30 okay. because if you look at the wall going down, it like it's seven, which seven can't really go up to 30. How come? Because it stops at 28. Oh, like if we have, how many groups of seven would make 28? Do you know, remember? Four. Uh-huh, and then what would, would happen if we had another group of seven? It would make, it would make 35. Are we pretty confident that he's right on that one? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Remember, let's use our hand signals, okay? Um, Thank you. Um, I know it, I'm going to um, challenge 43 because um, I know that I I know that it's not it because I counted my twos and it got me to 42. Oh, you counted them all by twos. 
All right, so that's so you told us two things, right? You told us couldn't be 43, you counted by twos. Was there an even number of dots or an odd yep. number of dots? It was an even number. So we can't have one that ends in three in answer, can we? Yeah. I challenge this not gonna be 40 because six cannot go into the correct number 40. Like six, so it goes until six times. Six equals 36. And the next pattern is six times seven is 42. Right, so you've got some of those patterns memorized. You guys feel fairly confident then that it's not 40, to 40 either? Yeah. All right, so we're talking a lot about some memorized facts, right? How is the way we, let's say you didn't have it memorized and you had no idea what six times seven was. Are we pretty confident it's 42? Yeah. 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 But if you didn't have that memorized, what's something you could use that you see that might help you? Remember, let's use our hand signals, okay? Someone I haven't called on yet today, yeah. Uh, you could like, you could count. Sure, we could count like by twos. How else could we count? Or you could like do, you um, do six, cause you know that the rule six and then count six, then 12, then. Mm, we could count by sixes? Yeah. Six, can you guys do this with me? Wow. Six, 12. 18, So that'd be a way to think about it, right? We could count by sixes. Someone else I haven't called on yet. Thank you, Vicar. I know, I still know from the last, um, from the last exercise, the practice, um, in one of those black boxes, mm -hmm. one of those boxes is 25. Oh, and like I right see, here? Yeah, and I see next to it, a uh, one line, uh -huh. and these are five, I can see it with I, without counting or anything. Uh -huh. And down there, I see two lines with six and two times six. It's pretty easy to do this one. Then I add it. What if we add this 25 in together? How many black dots are there? Oh. So if we have, how many rows of six is that? Just the black ones. So we could use that fact. I know that's 30. And our two groups of six, that makes 12. Right? Yeah, sure. And we add them right together. Think about that if we have our fact was seven times six, right? Look what we did. We took that seven and we chunked it up. We got our five sixes and our two sixes. How about one more way? How else could we chunk that up? Kind of like you just talked about. Could we chunk that up a different way? Oh gosh, you guys are getting good at this already. Yeah. You can um, count by like sevens, right? Each column you can do like sevens. Do by sevens? Sure, we can count by sevens just like we counted by six. What if we have this many groups of seven? How many groups of seven is that? Whisper it to your neighbor. <laughs> How many groups tell tell us? How many groups of seven is that, everybody? Five. Um, and then how many groups of seven didn't get in that chunk? One. One group of seven. And then we can add it together. Okay, back up here. You guys have been sitting in a, for a while. So when we do a number talk, yeah, there was an answer, it was 42. We had some different ideas, right? But in talking about it, we were able to decide that our answer was 42. And yes, that may be a memorized fact for you, but then we started talking about those different reasons why. And that's really important when you start doing bigger problems, like maybe that. And yeah, we can line things up and do our process, right? But sometimes there's other ways to think about how can we split those up to help us. We're not gonna get that far today. Hands up, way in the, high in the air, just one. Everybody, turn it around. 
bend it down, say good job, mate. Thank you for sharing your math, thank you.